Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. I had such a good day today, just going out and about in the sunshine, getting some new sunnies that you guys saw earlier and a nice lunch. I did just a little bit of light shopping. I picked up this top that I'm wearing today and the pants that I'm wearing today and the shoes. I'll show you a picture right here of the entire outfit. I only picked up a couple of items and I made sure that they were items that I really loved. I don't know about you, but lately I've really been into texture. So not only do I wanna buy pieces that are, you know, really beautiful, but actually feel good on my skin, they're comfortable, they're breathable. I've just been thinking a lot about what I'm wearing, why I'm wearing it, and how I feel when I'm wearing it. And I have come to the conclusion that I have a lot of clothes in my closet that I don't wear. Which brings us to today's video. I'm cleaning out the closet, mine and Chris's side. We do share one and I'm gonna make piles you know how the typical clean out goes right if you don't love it if you don't reach for it for me if I haven't reached for it in the past three weeks I'm purging I'm donating I've done this quite a few times just trying to figure out not only what my style is but focusing more on dressing for my body type rather than dressing for what's in style slow fashion I find is so much better it's so much more sustainable you're so much happier with the pieces that you do have in your closet I've also been feeling like I I want to wear more elevated clothing more often. So for me, that means instead of, you know, taking my dogs for a walk and just throwing on sweatpants, I'm gonna wear maybe some linen pants and a tank top, like something a little more flattering. Look at this. Ugh. I'm not happy with it. I don't feel good when I come in here. There's so much clutter. For some reason, I always end up packing stuff all along the floor. I'm getting rid of all of this. This is gonna be completely vacuumed and cleaned and there's not gonna be any of, this, of these hampers, dirty clothes, a shirt on the shoe rack. Closets are just one of those things that get really disastrous really quickly if you don't have a system. I originally had this plan where I was putting my hangers on these little organizers. The ones where you can put multiple hangers on one piece and I quickly realized that this is not sufficient. It does hold a lot of clothing vertically. So if you do have a more narrow closet, this might be uh, a good purchase for you from Amazon, but this just, this isn't working for me. I don't like it. I don't like the way the clothes hang. I don't like that they're all different uh, sizes, you know, like some of it ends here, some of it ends down here. I just want it all to be cohesive. I want it all to be neutral. I want everything to just make sense and flow. What I'm finding now is that I love dressing more feminine and more light and comfortable. So even though I have like a little bit of a chunky heel, I'll always make sure that my shoes are comfortable. I love uh, linen pants. I love white, black, or cream colored, but typically white or black just looks more elevated. I just feel more confident and more put together. I have also found that button down t-shirts are a more elevated look for me, especially because I have large breasts. They're not like sticking out so much. Like I don't have to wear really tight tops to bring in my waist. I can wear something more flowy and airy like this. And then I just tied it in a knot and then I just make sure I wear high-waisted pants to cover that knot. But this is really comfortable. It's really simple. It's non-fussy. And with the pair of right shoes, it really pulls the outfit together. You can put a hat on like I showed you guys earlier, have a nice bag, and it's just very simple. And that's what I'm into right now. Simple, elevated, comfortable. I'm about to get started, but I wanna kinda of give you guys an idea of what I'm gonna be doing. I did order some wood hangers from Amazon. I'll link that in the description below, the ones that I purchased. It's the light wood kind that I thought would look really nice with these wire racks that I have in here. If it were up to me, I would definitely revamp this entire closet, but I just don't know how long we're gonna be here, and I don't wanna put all the time and money in doing that if we're just gonna move in three years. So let's go ahead and get started. If you have been waiting for closet declutter motivation, I am here for you, girl. But first, I'm gonna light a candle, put on some 80s music, kind of set the mood. And then of course, I poured myself a nice little glass of kombucha. Cheers, and let's get started. During this closet clean out, I was so thrilled to have discovered why I constantly feel like I don't have anything to wear. Even though I have a closet full of just everything I could ever want, every day was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna wear today? No, I don't like this, I don't like that. I have a solution for this and I'm just really excited to share it with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and first clean up everything off of the floor. Thank you. 
Now that everything is off the floor and looking good, I'm now going to assess all of the shoes. I'm going to go over my shoes and Chris's shoes and just kind of look at the condition of them and see when's the last time we wore them. These are so out of date. We're definitely going to get rid of those. He hasn't worn them in so long. I'm just separating the dress shoes from like his gardening shoes, workout shoes, and just like everyday shoes. Now going through each of my shoes, I'm going to pick them up, hold them, feel them, look at the condition of them and find out if they're worth keeping. These ones are obviously very worn and they're not very comfortable. So I'm going to go ahead and donate them and then move on to the next pair. If I haven't worn them in a month, they're getting purged. this is so satisfying to me it's so organized and I know that I'm gonna wear every single pair of these and Chris wears every single pair of his dress shoes okay let's go ahead and move on to the top shelf here where I have all of my purses and some boxes and just some random stuff I'm gonna get that cleaned off and nice and neat I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep all of my purses, even though I mainly use just two of them. Some are for date nights or events and some are for travel just to make things easier. They kind of have like that backpack vibe to them. Um, I kind of did a purging already with purses, so I'm definitely going to keep the ones that I have left. Now to get all of the clothes pulled and sorted, I'm truly dreading this part, but I also, I'm really excited for the results. This is a long time overdue and I know I'm going to feel really good once it's complete. Gosh, this is when the project can feel super overwhelming, but I'm just going to pull through and take my attention away from the bed for a moment and just look at this candle, regroup for a moment, take a few deep breaths, and then I can continue. You guys, you guys. Okay, here I have finally made some progress. I have all my husband's main suits at the top. It has the jacket and the pants together. And then to the right of that, his other pants. I've got dress shirts at the bottom with room to put his other dress shirts from uh, dry cleaning. So here I filled it up some more. I've got some vests on the side and his sports coats, ties, belts, and then I go into his casual clothes with shorts, pants, and then his shirts from darkest to lightest. What do you think? I'm so in love with this. 
After Chris's side was complete, I looked over to the right and saw the remaining room that was left for myself. And here it is, one fourth of the closet, but really this is exactly what I wanted. Just to go through everything and make a small pile of summer clothes that I can hang up and I'm excited to reach for. I made several piles here. One was for donations, one was for my nieces to go through later, and then the small pile I'm actually keeping. And I was actually really surprised to notice that a lot of the items that I was keeping, like hoarding in my closet, no longer fit me anyway. And I think this is really bad to do because we always think that we're going to fit into it later, but we just end up feeling badly about ourselves that we can't fit into it. So why not purge it, donate it, and give it to somebody else to enjoy? I also had a few items in my maybe pile from last time that I decluttered that I was feeling really good about parting ways with. So don't feel like you're in a hurry or in a rush to just get rid of something. There's nothing worse than purging an item that you wish you had later on, and then you just have to repurchase. After creating these piles, the moment became so clear to me, the reason why I always felt I never had anything to wear, my pile that I was keeping for summer was only one fourth of all of my clothes. I never had anything to wear because I didn't like what I had or it didn't fit me or it just didn't match all of my other clothes. The lesson for me today was if you're not excited to reach for it, if you don't absolutely love it, don't keep it. This way your closet is only full of things that you absolutely love to wear every day. Everything that I decided to keep keep is a great material. It feels good on the skin. It's comfortable. It's cohesive with the rest of my clothes. It is such a good feeling. Now I'm only left with outfits that are my favorite to wear. I'll always look good. I'll always be comfortable. And I'm just so grateful that I put in the time doing this. And in the future, my focus when buying new clothes will be those same points. Instead of buying random pieces of clothing I find pretty, I'm really gonna take the time to feel the fabric to ensure it's something that will elevate another piece of clothing I already own and to ensure it fits well today. No more sizing down because I like something, hoping I'll lose 10 pounds to fit in it later. And lastly, I'm gonna start trying clothes on before buying them. This is something I don't really enjoy doing, but I wanna ensure I feel good in the garment before buying it, asking myself if I'd be excited to wear it regularly. Getting dressed in the morning no longer has to be this task, this like miserable moment where you're just feeling bad about yourself, throwing clothes everywhere because you just don't like what you have. It's gonna be so much fun getting dressed. Everything is clutter free and clean. And when I open that closet door, I just feel really good about everything that I own. Creating a capsule wardrobe I think is key. You don't have to just wear neutrals. That's just what I like to do. But just having clothes that match all of your other clothes, it just makes sense. I I think this is the best thing I've ever done for myself. Here's the final result. I'm just so in love with the minimal and clean simplicity of this space. It is evening time now. This has taken me about four hours to complete. I am absolutely thrilled with the results. It was so worth it. It just feels really good. I love the wood hangers that I got from Amazon. Like I said, I am going to link them below so that you guys can purchase them if you'd like. I love the fact that at the top of the hanger you can put your top and it has a little bar at the bottom where you can put shorts or a pair of pants and you can hang up outfits together. I think I'm going to do that in the future. I think the wood hangers give like that store vibe for women and then Chris of course has the black hangers which I think represents more of the men's department. Now I just have to worry about cleaning up this disaster. This is what's going to take the longest because I am going to have to take a lot of these clothing items and put them in a separate bag that I also got from Amazon. I'm gonna link this in the description below as well. You can put clothes, blankets, pretty much anything for storage. It's long and flat and it will fit underneath your bed or in a closet or in your basement, wherever you want. Anyway, I hope I gave you guys some inspiration. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is a tedious project, but absolutely worth it in the end. You can do it. Go ahead and get started on your closet. I know you've been wanting to. That's it, it's time to clean up now. No more procrastinating. I got to get to it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget you can always follow me on Instagram. I do have that linked in the description below. I don't really post a lot on the actual page, but I post almost daily on my stories. So if you want to find out what I'm doing in real time, check me out there. That is all. Until next time. Bye for now.